Picture this, it's a cozy evening, and you find yourself nestled in your favorite armchair, the flickering glow of the television casting a warm ambience across the room. The year is 1964, and you're about to embark on an unforgettable cinematic journey. The title card reads, A Shot in the Dark, and as the movie begins, you're immediately transported to a world of mystery, comedy, and sheer cinematic brilliance. As the plot unfolds, you can't help but be captivated by the bumbling yet endearing Inspector Jack Clouseau, portrayed with impeccable finesse by the legendary Peter Sellers. The film's sharp wit, clever humor, and unexpected twists keep you on the edge of your seat, all while you're doubled over with laughter. It's a movie that makes you appreciate the art of slapstick comedy in all its glory. Perhaps it's the iconic scenes, like the unforgettable nudist colony sequence, or the chaotic game of billiards that etch themselves into your memory. Or maybe it's the delightful clash of characters and the impeccable timing of the cast that leaves an indelible mark on your cinematic soul. But beyond the laughter and amusement, a shot in the dark holds a special place in film history. Did you know that it was originally intended as a straight crime thriller before director Blake Edwards decided to infuse it with comedy? And that the film's success paved the way for a series of Pink Panther films, turning Inspector Clouseau into a household name? So, as you reminisce about that first encounter with a shot in the dark, let's delve deeper into the fascinating trivia and random facts that make this movie a timeless classic. Get ready for an entertaining journey through the annals of cinematic history, all with a touch of humor and charm just like the film itself. Stay tuned for more. A Shot in the Dark, released in 1964, is a classic comedy film directed by Blake Edwards and starring the legendary Peter Sellers, as the bumbling French detective, Inspector Jacques Clouseau. This film is the second installment in the iconic Pink Panther series, known for its slapstick humor and cleverly woven murder mysteries. The movie originated from a French play, which was adapted for the screen by Edwards and writer William Peter Blatty. In this installment, Inspector Clouseau finds himself investigating a murder at a wealthy man's mansion, but his comically inept investigative skills create chaos and confusion at every turn. The film's unique style lies in its blend of physical comedy, witty dialogue, and farcical situations, with Seller's portrayal of Clouseau as the central comedic force. Iconic characters like the seductive Maria Gambrelli, played by Elk Sommer, and Clouseau's long-suffering boss, Chief Inspector Dreyfus, played by Herbert Lom, add depth to the story. The film's slapstick humor and Clouseau's famous catchphrase, Does your dog bite? have become enduring elements of pop culture. A Shot in the Dark not only solidified Peter Sellers' status as a comedy legend but also contributed to the lasting legacy of the Pink Panther franchise. Its unique brand of humor and unforgettable characters continue to be celebrated in the world of comedy and cinema, making it a timeless classic. And there you have it, a concise look at the origins, iconic characters, unique style, and cultural impact of the 1964 movie A Shot in the Dark. In the 1964 movie A Shot in the Dark, several noteworthy aspects stand out. One of the most significant is the introduction of two key characters to the Clouseau film series, Cotto and Dreyfus. This film marked their first appearances in the series, setting the stage for their recurring roles in later installments. Additionally, it's worth noting that the original play titled A Shot in the Dark by Marcel Achard had a significant impact on the movie. The play opened at the Booth Theater on October 18, 1961, and ran for an impressive 389 performances before closing on September 22, 1962. The original cast included notable actors such as Walter Matthau, who won the 1962 Tony Award for Best Featured Actor in a Play, along with Julie Harris, William Shatner, and Gene Sachs. Another interesting tidbit from the movie is an ad-libbed line by Peter Sellers, who played Hercule in the film. According to Graham Stark, Sellers improvised the line, Look at that. I've got Africa all over my hand. This spontaneous moment added to the film's humor and showcases Sellers' comedic talent. In conclusion, the 1964 movie A Shot in the Dark holds historical significance in the Clouseau film series by introducing key characters, draws inspiration from a successful Broadway play, and features moments of improvisation that contribute to its comedic charm. In 1964, the movie A Shot in the Dark brought together Peter Sellers, 
and Blake Edwards, who had previously collaborated on The Pink Panther in 1963. However, the improvisational style of this film led to frequent arguments between them during production. At the end of filming, they both agreed never to work together again. But as fate would have it, this decision didn't stand for long. Four years later, they reunited for the party in 1968, and subsequently, they joined forces for several Pink Panther sequels. Interestingly, in 2006, Premiere Magazine recognized A Shot in the Dark as one of the 50 greatest comedies of all time. This recognition speaks to the enduring appeal and comedic brilliance of the film. Originally slated for a Christmas release, positive early reviews prompted the film's release to be moved up to the summer. This decision capitalized on the film's potential to draw in audiences and make it a summer blockbuster. In the world of cinema, the collaboration, disagreements, and ultimate reunion of Peter Sellers and Blake Edwards, along with the critical acclaim received by A Shot in the Dark, are intriguing aspects of this classic comedy. Unveiling the truth behind A Shot in the Dark contrary to a widely circulated rumor, A Shot in the Dark didn't start shooting before The Pink Panther. In fact, both films entered production in September 1963. This intriguing revelation dispels the notion that one came before the other. Elk Sommer, who portrayed Maria in A Shot in the Dark, made a bold move. Despite already committing to two German film projects, she shelled out $100,000 from her earnings to free herself from those obligations. Her determination to secure a three-year contract with MGM demonstrated her belief in the film's potential. While the movie itself may not have been without its challenges, it's interesting to note that Peter Sellers, who played a central role, displayed signs of anxiety during filming. Director Blake Edwards had to handle Sellers' moments of doubt, with the actor even breaking down in tears over concerns about the film's success, among other issues. These behind-the-scenes insights into a shot in the dark shed light on the intricate dynamics that shaped this classic comedy. They remind us that even in the world of film, where everything appears polished on screen, there can be hidden stories of determination, sacrifice, and the pursuit of success. In the 1964 movie A Shot in the Dark, the character Maria Gambrelli made her debut, portrayed by Elk Sommer. This iconic character resurfaced in Son of the Pink Panther in 1993, this time played by Claudia Cardinale, known for her role as Princess Dalla in the original The Pink Panther released in 1963. Interestingly, the role of Maria Gambrelli was originally intended for Sophia Loren, but due to illness, she had to decline. The next choice was Austrian actress Romy Schneider, but she had prior commitments, leading to Elk Sommer ultimately taking on the role. A memorable moment in the film, the synchronized The Watch's dialogue was actually improvised by Peter Sellers and Graham Stark, adding an unexpected touch of humor to the movie. These tidbits shed light on the casting choices and spontaneous moments that contributed to the charm of A Shot in the Dark. It's a testament to the creative process and the talent behind this classic comedy. As we draw the curtains on our cinematic journey through the timeless classic, A Shot in the Dark, I invite you to pause and reflect on the unique tapestry of emotions it has woven within you. This cinematic gem, the second installment in the Pink Panther series, has gifted us with countless moments of laughter, intrigue, and sheer delight. The film's brilliant blend of slapstick comedy, mystery, and the impeccable comedic timing of Peter Sellers as the bumbling Inspector Jacques Clouseau make it an enduring masterpiece. Perhaps you found yourself chuckling uncontrollably at Clouseau's hilarious misadventures, or marveling at his sheer obliviousness. Or maybe it's the captivating storyline and the charismatic characters that left an indelible mark on your cinematic sensibilities. Now, I encourage you to share your cherished memories and thoughts about this cinematic gem. Did it spark a love for classic comedies, or did it inspire your own detective fantasies? What scenes or lines still echo in your mind, years after you first watched it? Your personal connection to A Shot in the Dark is a testament to the enduring magic of cinema and its power to forge lasting memories. Thank you for joining us on this journey down memory lane and for sharing your thoughts and reflections on this cinematic treasure. Your engagement enriches our appreciation of the film and keeps its spirit alive. Until our next cinematic adventure, take a moment to savor the timeless humor and intrigue of a shot in the dark. Warmest regards and may your love for cinema continue to shine brightly with cinematic admiration if desired.